All right, I'm starting with a replay of the Taka K show versus Toby Zadru match. This is day nine, Monday, just got home from work. So I'm just going to count this as a bonus for the match that's coming up. All right, so the Ozeki getting the win there. He entered the match six and two, so he's now seven and two. Toby Zaru is now five and four at Maiga Shira four. And Takesho won away from Kachikoshi and erasing his Kataban status. All right, tomorrow he has Daisho, and Toby Zaru has Koto. Wait, Gonoyama, sorry, sorry, I was totally reading that wrong, Gonoyama. All right, so unfortunately that was the third to last match, didn't quite get it from the beginning. Uh, as I said, they're pretty early these days, it's only 5.45 and we only have two matches to go. But here's the one you clicked on, Hoshoru the Ozeki now taking on Midori Fuji. And uh, six and two for Hoshoru, so wants to stay on pace with Takikeisho. And uh, Midori Fuji currently at three and five. I'm not going to update you on who won earlier in the day because I specifically uh, took like a screenshot with my phone uh, for the second half because I didn't want to spoil it for myself so I can watch those matches later. Now, it might get spoiled here on the broadcast. They might say something like, oh, well, since so-and-so won, you know. I can go back to earlier uh, in the first half and give you some updates. So Tomokaze came up from Jurio uh, to fight Miyogiru, the Maigashira 15. Miyogiru won. So he's now four and five. Tomokaze is four and five with the loss. Ryuden beat Endo. Endo two and seven now, one away from Amake Koshi and Demotion to Jurio. Ryuden now five and four. Shiranoumi went to five and four by beating Sadanoumi. Uh, Dayamami, uh, a return E to the top division at Maigashira 16, got his fifth win. He beat Ichi Yamamoto, who's now four and five. Roga, another returnee at Maigashira 15, is at 5 and 4. He got a win today over Mitake Yumi. The Maigashira 10 now is at 6 and 3. Koto Shoho uh, beat Ko um, not Koto, Kitanowaka. The Maigashira 14 is our first Make Koshi. He's now 1 and 8. And so he'll be going back down to Jury almost likely, unless he just gets a whole bunch of wins in the last uh, six days or so. Takiyasu got a win over Nishiki Fuji to go to six and three. Shonana Umi went to seven and two by beating Ono Sho. Hokuto Fuji got his just his second win of the tournament. He's now two and seven. He beat Kimbozan, who with that loss is also basically two and seven. Shodai lost to Gonoyama. Onoyama's now six and three. Tamawashi got his third win. He's three and six by beating Hirada Umi. Oho went to four and five by beating Takanosho. Mese, the Maigashira two, went to four and five by beating Atami Fuji. And that's where I stop. And it's all just empty on my app because I don't want to know who won uh, Takera Fuji Abi and Ono Sato Wakamoto Haro. I want to watch those. Just like you guys do sometimes. So I get that. Okay, they're going to throw salt one more time for this one. The final match today, I said, is a bit anticlimactic, right? It's Kirishima at 2 and 6 versus Nishikigi. But I will put it up on the channel. So, only two videos here from Monday, day 9. Uh, hopefully, I can get home a little bit earlier tomorrow on day uh, 10. And then I looked at my schedule for the rest of the week, and I will have absolutely full coverage from day 11 to day 15. Um, I'm taking Thursday the 21st off. 20th is a national holiday, so I have that day off. I'm taking a half day on the 22nd after going in in the morning. Uh, so I'll be home in time for sumo. 
And then 23, 24, Saturday, Sunday, all sumo all day, baby. So, uh, yeah, so lots of sumo coming up to make up for some of these shorter days. Uh, and I thank you for your understanding and patience. All right. Turn this up now. Hoshodru versus Midori Fuji. Oh! Need to see that replay as it went by so fast. Not going to be happy about that. No, it wasn't a Henke, he went full in and then he oh, just pulled. Nice. Very fast. Like Ura, you know, I think Midori Fuji for his stature, he has a lot of technique, a lot he's a lot of fun to watch. I don't think he'll ever, you know, really succeed at the high ranks because of his size, but uh he certainly is entertaining and that was a great a great uh, maneuver there against the Ozeki. So let's have it flash on screen who they're fighting tomorrow, and then we'll get set up. So Midori Fuji goes to four and five. He has uh, Koto Shoho tomorrow, and Hoshoru six and three now has Wakamoto Haru tomorrow. Okay, come on back.